New Note on două secole de mitologie națională, Two Centuries of uh, National Mythology by uh, Lucian Boyer. Um, in the previous month, by the way, there are a number of notes on YouTube and uh, Goodreads, if you care to look at them. Um, on the previous note, I talked a little about um, this um, wonderful phenomenon, Lucien Boer, the man who opened the eyes, if I may say that, not for a nation, but for those who read this and um, have been, um, if not stupefied, really, really surprised by, uh, on the one hand, what they learned in school, and on the other, what this uh, wondrous historian is uh, revealing. I think I also ventured to say that it's not just a national thing here. It happens in other places. Um, uh, take America as an example with uh, Donald Trump. <laughs> that's... I'm laughing, but that's... It is, it is harap, but, uh, I'm laughing, but that's not... Um, not funny anymore, because this guy is the president-elect, and he has a version of history which accurate in some places doesn't really help him to get the big picture. He, he, for instance, he said, um, let Japan deal with China, because Japan has beaten China in the past. Right, but China was uh, almost irrelevant power in various stages of its development. Um, more advanced, if we take um, why the West rules for now, more, more advanced between the fall of the Roman Empire and, uh, if I remember correctly, the 18th, 19th century, 19th century when the British during the Opium War had beaten, if we use a colloquial lesson, the hell out of the Chinese. So for many, many centuries the Chinese were ahead, way ahead, with their fleet, with their Amazing superiority. They they had a fleet with water, with doctors, with nothing to compare with what Columbus had. The Chinese had many, many ships, provisions, and a sophisticated uh, fleet. And Columbus had almost nothing to compare with. But that apart, coming back to Trump and his stupidity. Um, you can't let Japan deal with China now. No way. Um, and returning to Boe, because he's the theme of the note today. Now, he, uh, Ruchan Boe, revealed the fact that although we thought we kept the Turks at bay, we were the ones who saved France say, the West, with our tremendous fight here, it's not really that way. No. But, returning to the global perspective, nations have a tendency to exaggerate things. Once in a while, let's make America great again, like we're in the doldrums, like we're very feeble now, the point uh, Trump was trying to make. And then, on the other hand, uh, we are the best, we're the center of the universe and so on. So it happened here, uh, there was a feeling that uh, 
we keep fighting the Turks and our fight and, uh, wins have prevented the Ottoman Empire from advancing um, towards the West. But that's, if not 100% wrong, it is an exaggeration, to say the least. Because um, <laughs> the Turks just very often pass by we're not really so much concerned as we like to think about the, or with uh, the, the principalities and uh, it's very well explained in his uh, book, this book and that book.